Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Thratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about identity and membership operator. These operators are also called as special operators, which is widely used in Python programming. We have two types of special operators. One is identity operator, another one is membership operator. What is identity operator? These operators are used to compare the memory location of two objects and we have is and is not which is used to check these conditions and the output will be a boolean value which is a true or false let's see this with an example here one big note is there for understanding purpose only i have used the id in order to find the address of x and y variable but in real time you can directly use is operator you no need to verify this line of code again and again first we declare two values x is equal to 10 and y equal to 10 when you run this piece of code we can understand that the value 10 having the same memory location or same address for both x and y now print x is y when you run you get the output true as per the definition if x and y objects have the same address then you will get true the is operator will check whether both the variables having the same memory location or not we have seen example with number now we will see for the string a contains the string python and b contains the string python now both the string are same just cross verify the memory location is same now print a is b when you run we will get true because both the memory location is same in the third example we are using the list that is saving multiple values in single variable for time being just understand the concept is operator alone surely in future we are going to discuss about list in depth here the list 1 contains 1 2 3 4 and list 2 contains 1 2 3 4 both are same but when you check the memory location the values are totally different so as per our definition if i implement l1 is l2 you must get false because the memory location is totally different print l1 is l2 we got the output false Hope you got a clear view of is operator. Similarly, we have is not operator. Think you can guess its usage. It will display true if the value is not same. The same example will try to implement is not x equal to 10, y is equal to 10. Print x is not y. When you run, you'll get false because as per the definition, it will be true only if both the values are different in this example the value is same so we got the output false for better clarity one more example a equal to 20 b equal to 10 now a is not b when i run you will get the true because both a and b address of these two variables are totally different that is the reason we got true in this example we declared two variable as string both the values are same print s1 is not s2 when you run we will get the output false because is not will display true only if both the values are not same similarly for third example we have used list1 and list2 and verifying l1 is not l2 when you run you will get true because already know for the list the memory locations will be totally different when we use is not you will get the output true the final conclusion is is operator will display true if the memory address is same and uh, is not operator will display true if memory address is different that is exactly opposite of is operator the next one is membership operator membership operators are used to find a particular value in a sequence i'm going to explain this example with the help of list in the upcoming videos we will be seeing a lot about list, tuple, set at that time you will get more clarity what it exactly means just now understand the concept alone so we are creating the list by mentioning multiple values inside the square bracket whenever you see a square bracket it is a list 
inside that integer float number string all the values are there our requirement is to find a particular value in this list here it is just four values but in real time scenario it will be like thousands of values in that you want to find a particular value means it is literally tough but using this particular operator we can just like that find a value 10 in my list if you run the value 10 is present inside the particular list another example print python in my list once again the value python is found in case if the value is not available you will get the false statement maybe 20 in my list the value 20 is not available so we will be getting false this is an example how to use in operator to find a particular value in your sequence the same concept we use it in list tuple string dictionary variable like all the data structure concepts the next one is not in in the next example create a list 2 which contains these values now print 10 not in my list it will display true only if the values are not found in our example the 10 is not there that is why displaying true another example the value java is available not in my list 2 when you run it will display false because the value is available final conclusion in operator will display true if the value is found in the sequence and a not in operator will display true if the value is not found in the sequence that's the end about identity and membership operator we have completed all the types of operators with examples Please make sure you know each operator well because these operators will be used directly in the upcoming video tutorials and these materials link I will be mentioning it in the video description. Try to follow that. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.